Hi guys, today we're going to talk about PEE paragraphs and you'll need your notebooks for this so that you can take notes. So go ahead and take that out and get your pencils ready. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain what a PEE is, explain why PEE paragraphs are used, and name three parts of a PEE paragraph. To start with, we want to understand a little bit more what a PEE really is. PEE is a structure for writing paragraphs. PEE paragraphs help us keep our ideas focused and organized, and it helps us explain and make connections to things. That means when we analyze or explain things, our analysis is going to be much deeper than it would without using PEE. Each letter of the PEE stands for part of the paragraph that we're going to write. The P stands for point, the first E stands for evidence, and the second E stands for explanation. That gives us a basic understanding of what a PEE paragraph is. So right now, can you explain what a PEE is? Can you explain why PEE paragraphs are used? And can you name the three parts of a PEE paragraph? That's it for the overview on PEE paragraphs. Now that we understand what a PEE paragraph is, let's talk about how to write the point to a PEE. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain what a point does, list the parts of your point, and explain where to find keywords to include in your point. So let's get started. The point in a PEE restates the question and answers it with your own ideas. It's the first sentence in the PEE paragraph. Whenever you're writing a PEE paragraph in response to a question about a text or a novel, your first sentence of your PEE should state the title and the author's name of the text that you're looking at. You should also include keywords from the original question, and your point should contain the answer to the question that you've been asked. In a minute, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what the point does, and one of the key examples that I'm going to use is from the book The Breadwinner by Deborah Ellis. So I know that a lot of you haven't read that book yet, but I need you to pretend that you have. At the beginning of the book, there's a young girl named Parvana who lives in Afghanistan. Parvana's father is arrested by the Taliban and taken to a prison. Parvana takes it upon herself to go searching for her father. This all happens at the very start of the book, so don't worry, I haven't given you any spoilers. But I am going to reference this first part of the book in some of my examples, so just pretend that we've read at least up to that part of the book. For this PEE, we're going to pretend that we've been asked the question that's posted here. It reads, in the novel, The Breadwinner, what is the main character like? And right below the question is the point that we wrote in order to answer this question. It reads, in the novel, The Breadwinner by Deborah Ellis, the main character, Parvana, is made out to be a very brave person. In this point, you can see that we've mentioned the text title and the author's name. We also used key words from the question. We can see in the question, some of the key words were the main character. And so we used those words in our response. We said the main character, Parvana. And we went on to answer the question. The question asked what the main character is like. So we went ahead and said that Parvana is made out to be a very brave person, answering the question. Let's take a look at another example from a popular book that many of you may have read. This question is, in Harry Potter, who is the main bad guy or antagonist? If we were responding to this question with a PEE paragraph, this sentence right below the question would be the first sentence or the point to that PEE paragraph. It reads, in the book Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, the main bad guy or antagonist is Voldemort. Looking more closely at this point, we can see that the point does mention the text title and the author. It also uses the keywords from the question, the main bad guy or antagonist. And it goes on to answer the question, letting us know that the answer to this question is Voldemort. Let's take a look at just one more example from a popular movie. For this example, the question is, what is the source of Luke Skywalker's abilities in Star Wars? And the point that we've come up with is, in the movie Star Wars by George Lucas, the source of Luke Skywalker's special abilities is called the Force. Once again, we can see that we've mentioned the text title, in this case, the title of the movie, and what we would consider the author's name, which would be the director of the movie. We also use the key words from the question, the source of Luke Skywalker's abilities. And we went on to answer the question with the force. Now that we've seen some examples of how the points should work and what should go into them, 
Let's take a look at some different options for points and evaluate them. For this example, we're looking at the book Wonder. The question is, in the book Wonder, what does the author do to make us like the main character? Read all three points on the right. Identify which point is the best, the second best, and the worst. The first point reads, in the novel Wonder, R.J. Palacio makes the main character Augie win the audience's heart with his wit and humor. Hopefully you noticed that this point didn't actually answer the question. If we look at the question more closely, it asks, what does the author do to make us like the main character? And if we look at this point, we see that whoever wrote this didn't actually answer that question. They never talk about what the author did. They talk about what Augie did or the qualities that Augie had, but it never answers the question of what the author did. The second example reads, the author makes Julian mean towards Augie because he is selfish and uncomfortable with difference. Hopefully you identified that this point is missing a lot of information. The point is supposed to have the text title and the author's name. It's also supposed to use keywords from the question. In fact, this point really draws attention away from the character that we're supposed to be focused on. If we look at the question, the question is really focused in on the main character. But this point talks about how Julian is mean towards Augie and how Julian is selfish and uncomfortable with difference. That's a real distraction from the main idea of the question. Our last point reads, R.J. Palacio, in the novel Wonder, makes the audience like the main character Augie by showing Augie's internal thoughts, allowing us to see him from the inside and not just the outside. Hopefully you identified that this is indeed the best point here. It contains all the necessary information, the author's name, the title of the text, it uses key words from the question, and it clearly answers the question itself. Now that you've learned a lot about the point, in your notes, I want you to write a point to each one of the questions below. So go ahead and open your notes and do that now. Remember, you need to copy the question before you write your point. Pause the video while you write all your points. Now that you've written all three points to each one of the three questions, go ahead and share your point sentences with a partner and give feedback to one another on what your partner did well and what they can improve on. Be sure to look at the checklist. Does your partner's point contain all the information? Do they restate the question? And do they clearly answer the question? That concludes our information about the point. Right now, you should be able to explain what the point does, list the parts of your point, and explain where to find keywords to include in your point. In the next video, we'll talk about how to write your evidence for your PEE.